it's been fantastic, you know, really interesting challenge for all of it. It's really important that we maintain the character of the buildings and also reflected that history back. We think we've done a really fantastic job in doing that. That's what I'm most proud of, the lasting legacy that we're going to leave. The Sir Frederick Mappin building was completed in 1886. It was one of the original buildings that formed the University of Sheffield when it was established in 1905. A lot of people have spent a lot of time in these buildings as they've learned engineering. The scheme itself has been enormously challenging, particularly as we're dealing with historic buildings, but also we've got some significant maintenance issues. So we've addressed those problems together with the help and support of InterServe, our main contractors, we were employed to completely renovate the buildings. The historic Grade 2 listed mapping building with the heart space adjoining another 150 year old building, the central block here. So the design concept for the heart space was born out of the desire of the faculty to get mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, structural engineers um, out of their office spaces into a collaborative heart space. We've worked with InServe on multiple projects for many years across the education sector and we kind of share a similar ethos in terms of how we approach projects and it is about collaboration, it's about trying to get to the right solution together. So there were many stakeholders involved in this project. From the outset we arranged a project workshop with the uh, University of Sheffield and all, all the stakeholders to try and align all our goals and aspirations throughout the, the four years of the project. The Heart Space project started in May 16. What it does is it combines two parts of our legacy estate, the Grade 2 listed mapping building and central block under a glass atrium roof and we've also developed two stacked laboratory buildings, one we're stood on and the other one you can see behind me. It's a 130 year old building that we're stripping out and putting a brand new glass curved really complex roof in the middle of. So it's been a really tough challenge for all of the design team and we kind of took ideas and links from the existing buildings, some of the historical features like the Star of David vents that you might see around with the triangular forms and that's kind of enforced our design concept around this idea of this curved grid shell roof with the triangular forms that you see around the building. So it's about people engaging with engineering past and present. I think it's safe to say that the overall project success was based around the heart space. This steel structure that uh, we're under here contains over 900 pieces of glass and took around 700 tonnes of scaffolding to support before the final connections were welded and supported together. So it was very important that we work collaboratively with Wagner Biro uh, during this time. But we also held many site tours for staff members, lecturers, students, and basically this gave them a better understanding of working on a Grade 2 listed building and I think it gave them an appreciation of how complex the, uh, the design and the challenges that we all faced uh, throughout the project. It feels very good to, uh, to look up and finally be under a glass roof. Very good, very proud. Yeah, everyone did a great job. I think, yeah, just standing in this space and, and enjoying it and, and being able to experience it at different levels is, is my favourite part of the scheme by far. We'd encourage anybody who wants to come and see this facility to visit. We think it's a fantastic facility and the quality of it shows when you walk through the doors. Mm -hmm.